Hey guys, BP Unlimited here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to charge each cell in your lithium polymer battery individually. So just to start off, I'm gonna tell you, this is really, really dangerous. If you do anything wrong here, or even if you don't do anything wrong, and you just have a crap battery, there's a really big chance that your battery might swell up, go on fire, or even explode. So I highly recommend getting one of these uh, fireproof uh, bags. And also, I'm pretty stupid, don't do this on your bed like I am right now. That's probably like the worst thing you could do. Now the reason for me doing this is because I accidentally over discharged my battery and my charger is rejecting it. So I just need to raise the voltage up slightly and everything should be good. So what you're gonna wanna need to do this is two wires and a charger such as this one uh, from a one cell lithium polymer battery from a quadcopter or something. This charger here is from an Ishin something quadcopter, but uh, the charger from the Sima X5C apparently is the same. So if you have that, you're all good. And also here, I'm using the charger from the Cheerson CX10. Right, so to do this, you're gonna wanna put the positive and negative wire into the positive and negative uh, ports in there. And now to help me do this, I put a remote onto the wire same here, just to hold it, so it wouldn't keep disconnecting by accident. And once you have that done, then you're gonna wanna put the positive wire into the red hole of the balance charger, I don't even know the terminology for it. But as you can see here, I've already charged up a few cells, so they might be in slightly different positions. You put the positive wire with the red and the negative with the yellow. And then once that cell's charged up, you just move it down one so the positive goes into the yellow and the negative goes into the white and then after that the positive goes into the white and the negative into the blue and then the positive into the blue and the negative into the black and then after that you're finished now just let me say with these 5 volt chargers it takes a hell of a lot of time and that's really it and here as you can see the light is red on the charger which means it's charging and once it's done it'll turn off that's really it guys, thanks for watching. It's quite simple if you think about it, you just have to be really cautious with how you're doing this. So thanks for watching, subscribe for more tutorials like this. Peace out.